Robert Powell's journey through the Holy Land has taken him to the lowest freshwater lake on Earth, the Sea of Galilee. There it is, the Sea of Galilee. This region was central to Jesus' ministry. Here, Jesus preached the message that still resonates over 2,000 years later. Robert has come to Capernaum on Galilee's northern shore. He wants to find out about the people that Jesus was preaching to and why they were so responsive to his words. According to the Gospel of Matthew, this is where Jesus chose to make his base while traveling around Galilee. Archaeologists have dated ruins from this ancient town back to Jesus' lifetime. Jody, what do we know about Capernaum in the first century? Well, archaeologically, we have a lot of information because a large part of the ancient town has been excavated. So we have the ancient village houses. We can see that it was a large and prosperous town, which is not surprising because of its location here on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. I can believe that this was a really lovely place to live. Yeah. It is beautiful. I can understand why Jesus decided to make his headquarters here, if you like. Yeah. If you basically want to minister to the people of Lower Eastern Galilee, this really is a very central spot and accessible to all of the villages in the area, so it does make sense. Lower Galilee was the most densely populated part of the region, so Capernaum was a good place to reach as many people as possible. For over 150 years, this site has been extensively explored by archaeologists. Jody, what is the layout of this town? Tell us about the people who lived here. You don't have big economic differences, socio-economic differences between the inhabitants. So uh, for the most part, they're all sort of what we would consider the lower classes. We're talking about towns and villages which survived off of, for example here, fishing, uh, agriculture, crafts. Most of Jesus' followers appear to be either fishers or farmers. Uh, and they, they were basically acquiring food for, for subsistence. It's easy to forget just how difficult life was then. Most people spent their time finding out ways to eat. And so it's not a surprise that a number of his followers are fishermen. <laughs> 